everyone it's time for us to go and take a look at the iphone 10s and compare it against the iphone 15 and see which specific iphone is a better one for you now i will definitely tell you both these phones are great the iphone 15 is by far the better one i would recommend a majority of people to buy but the 10s is still here for people who want to buy it and you know if you want to pick some phones i would recommend buying this year links will be down in the description you can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time now starting off side by side you can definitely tell that the iphone 15 looks newer the 10s came out in 2018 and it was pretty much i mean it was a good phone when it first came out don't get me wrong it was just like a smaller upgrade coming from the iphone 10. on the front you were getting a 5.8 inch retina oled display and it's a good looking panel you know i still think it's decent I, this is an aftermarket display too it's kind of funny because there's kind of some weird glitches but regardless it's a very good phone i've always liked it 60 hertz panel notch up top but this was only like the second generation after the notch came out so this was still like a fairly newer design but it looks so close to the iPhone 10 that I was just surprised that they kept it almost the exact same way. The iPhone 15, on the other hand, has a bigger 6.1 inch Super Retina XCR OLED display. So this is a bigger panel, it definitely looks really nice, and once again, I'm a big fan of the way this specific display looks, and I think Apple did a great job here. It's still 60 hertz, so not much has changed from that specific perspective, but as I mentioned before, you know, it's a good display. You're getting the dynamic island up there too, which is a pretty big change. So that kind of stuff is really cool, but beyond that, that's kind of how this specific panel holds up. Now in terms of thinness and thickness between them, some slight differences here in terms of the design. So you can see on the iPhone 15, you're basically getting this flat side. The iPhone XS, you're getting that curved side to it. You're also getting this like reflective side to the iPhone XS, which looked kind of nice. The iPhone 15, no reflective side this specific time around. So again, not like the biggest deal in the world, but once again, one of those small minor things to kind of keep in mind there. On top of that SIM card tray on the iPhone XS, no SIM card tray on the iPhone 15. Kind of a curved side to the iPhone 15, but it's flat, kind of looks good. The biggest change though, like I've mentioned 20,000 times before, is probably the bottom. You're now getting USB-C on the iPhone 15, where the iPhone XS had a lightning port. Now this completely depends on your preference. I do think right now, as of this moment, lightning is still perfectly fine, like you're still getting a lot of the same capability between both. But over time, USB-C will definitely be the better one. And if you want to future-proof yourself, Getting a USB-C iPhone is probably the one that will make the most amount of sense to me, at least to recommend to other people. Now from the back side, you can definitely tell slight differences here too. Dual camera setups, which is interesting because you're still getting a dual camera setup on the 15. You had that standard glass back on the iPhone XS. The iPhone 15 has that frosted glass back. It's another slight difference. Personally for me, I do like having the frosted glass back and it is by far the better one I prefer. The XS still performs fairly well. It's still a good feeling phone nonetheless. I do have a skin over this one because this one was cracked, but I definitely would say the iPhone 15 has the better capability there. You're also getting wireless charging on both, but you're getting that MagSafe capability here. So you can use like MagSafe accessories and those types of things, which is also a really nice thing to have. So in terms of the outside, that kind of covers it up here. Definitely lots of overlap, but I would probably argue that both phones are still very good. I still like both, but I definitely would say the 15 is the better one here for sure. In terms of, you know, the software longevity, I honestly don't know how much longer the iPhone XS is going to last. As of right now, it's on iOS 17, which is really nice, but who knows when this iPhone is going to be discontinued with software. You know, it could be tomorrow, it could be next year, it could be never, I don't know, you know. I would probably say, realistically speaking, this phone is probably going to last maybe like another like year, so it would probably get iOS 17, maybe it'll get iOS 18 if we're lucky, but I'm not really counting on it to be honest. So keep that in mind, take that as you will. I don't know everything, but I know some things of iOS and I would probably say I would be surprised if this thing got iOS 18 to be honest. So take that as you will. The 15 is just getting started with software. So this thing literally just got started. So this one is going to last longer. Now let's go and do a speed comparison between both these phones. The iPhone XS has that Apple A12 Bionic chip inside of it with four gigabytes of RAM. But the iPhone 15 has that Apple A16 chip Bionic chip inside of it with six gigabytes of RAM. So. Let's go and see which one's the fast one between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are cleared out in the background. So let's get into it. Phone calls, three, two, one. Okay, pretty much the same thing. Let's do music, three, two, one. Okay, perfect. So you can see this one's just taking a little bit longer, which is kind of expected to be honest. Let's do their app stores, three, two, one. And the iPhone 15, definitely faster here. iPhone XS, a little bit slower. Both have 60 hertz panels, so there shouldn't be like a crazy massive difference here. But you can kind of tell that there's some like slight small differences here as far as I can tell. Hopping out of these ones. Let's go and get into clock. Three, two, one. Okay. About the same thing. Photos. Three, two, one. 
about the same thing too. Let's go and hop out of here. So we'll get into some of these third party applications. I think we have Genshin Impact on both, three, two, one. Now, I don't even know if it's still downloaded on here. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But I will probably tell you that between both, you're again getting the better performing phone from the iPhone 15 for a fact. And you can see right here, definitely the iPhone 15 was faster iPhone 10 is slightly slower, but you're going to be getting overall better performance from the iPhone 15 in-game as well. Let's do Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. And you can see right here the 15, once again, is doing better. I mean, this thing was like blazing. This thing did have that downloading update, downloading package, whatever that thing was. But even then, I still would have argued that the 15 was probably going to be giving you better performance overall there as well. And the iPhone 10 is slightly slower in this specific case. Hopping out of these two again. Let's go into, I wish I had Subway Surfers here. That's such a good game to test. Let's do Snake First Blocks, 3, 2, 1. And even getting into the splash screen is just substantially faster on the iPhone 15. Getting into some gameplay here. I don't think there's going to be a big difference. 10 has glitched up like crazy in the beginning with. Hopping out of these two. Let's go and get into Tank U, 3, 2, 1. And even like getting into the home screen seems faster, like a noticeable difference on the iPhone 15 there as well. Some other things to kind of keep in mind here. Okay, perfect. Hopping out of these two. We can try stack. Three, two, one. So overall, I mean, we could do this all day. The iPhone XS is clearly the slower phone here, and the iPhone 15 is the faster one. That's kind of what was expected or what I was expecting, so keep that in mind. So definitely with the iPhone 15, you're getting the better, faster performing phone here for sure. So that kind of covers it up there. Now, from the camera department, like I said before, you're definitely getting the overall better camera setup on the iPhone 15 for sure. I mean, that's just kind of how it goes. The newer phones pretty much always are going to have the better cameras. On the backside, wide and ultra wide camera on the iPhone 15, wide and telephoto lens on the iPhone XS. So 4K 60 on the back, you can do 4K 60 on the front of the iPhone 15. The XS can only do 1080p at 60 on the front, which is still good, but definitely better resolution you can film it on the iPhone 15. Now the XS camera, still okay for how old this phone is. What is it? It's like a five-year-old phone this year, so you basically know what you're getting. You're getting video mode, slow mode, time lapse. You're getting portrait mode and panorama mode. There's still lots and lots of overlap between these two phones, but I will definitely tell you the iPhone XS camera can start to show its age. That's just how it happens. That's just how it goes. We've seen this so many times before. So that's just kind of like a minor thing to keep in mind there. With the iPhone 15, on the other hand, this is a way better camera. It's just better in every single way. So 4K 60 on the front and the back is a very nice thing to have. So on this specific phone, you're getting that 0.5x zoom on the outside, which again, is a really nice thing. I like having that ultra wide camera. The iPhone XS doesn't have it, but you're also still getting 10x zoom, which I think is the same as the iPhone XS. And the iPhone XS had a dedicated, you know, ultra, uh, dedicated telephoto lens. The iPhone 15 doesn't even have it. So you're getting basically a way better camera on the iPhone 15. You're getting video mode, cinematic mode, slow mode, and time lapse. Very end, you're getting portrait mode. You're getting two more modes on this phone that this one didn't even have, and it's just a better camera sensor with, it's just a bigger camera sensor. It basically has everything you'd ever need on this camera for the most part. It seems like a very good upgrade coming from the iPhone XS. And that's how it sum up this whole entire video. The iPhone 15 overall is a very good upgrade coming from the iPhone XS. If you're somebody who owns a phone like the iPhone XS, going up to something like the iPhone 15 makes a lot of sense to me. It's a very good phone, has lots of capability, and this is the one, like I said before, I would recommend a majority of people to buy. I think with the phone like the iPhone XS, it's good still for the most part, but you are so much better off buying something like an iPhone 15 and moving on with your life rather than picking up something like an iPhone XS right now because this thing is pretty much already kind of outdated when it comes down to it. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.